In this particular video, we're going to be looking at Clause 9.3, which is entitled Management Review, which is part of Clause 9, Performance Evaluation. So here in 9.3, we're going to have a look at Management Review, which is where management steps back and has a look at the Sheck Performance Indicators and the auditing results and the various different statistics from within the business to assess the effectiveness of the Sheck Management System in achieving the intended outcomes and making tweaks and changes to the Sheck Management System in order to ensure our continual improvement. So let's have a look at Clause 9.3, Management Review. Top management is required to review your Sheck management system at predetermined intervals. It could be monthly, it could be quarterly, it could be annually. Your organization should make a call on that. Now, when we plan that management review, we obviously want to have a schedule, we could have an agenda, we could have a management review presentation, which is all the Sheck indicators and performance, which we can then show to management. Let's have a look at some of the inputs that we would want to put into that presentation to show top management. We'd have a look at the status of issues from previous minutes. We'd have a look at the context of the organization. What changes have happened to our internal and external issues or changes to our workers and interested parties' needs and requirements. We'd have a look at the effectiveness of leadership from top management's commitments and various different indicators on the demonstration of management commitment. Are we creating a positive Sheck compliance culture in the organization? Is our Sheck policy still suitable, adequate, and effective? Are the roles and responsibilities? Is there suitable worker consultation and participation arrangements? And what is the effectiveness of consultation and participation? We'd have a look at, uh, as one of the inputs, we'd have a look at planning. What about our actions to address our strategic risks and opportunities? What about our actions to address our hazards and risks and environmental aspects and impacts? How are we doing in terms of the status of actions against the various different plans? What about the status of objectives that we have implemented and that is part of our improvement strategy? What about the types and number of changes that have taken place to documents or changes to the law um, or process or product changes that have taken place within our system. In Clause 7, we'd have a look at the resources. We'd have a look at have we provided skilled and competent people? Are the people aware? What is our performance against our training plan? If we said we were going to train so many people, have we trained them? We would also have a look at the provision of our resources and our planned maintenance of our plant and equipment and our budget and our monitoring and measuring devices. We'd have a look at competency and awareness, as we've just mentioned. We'd have a look at the suitability, adequacy and effectiveness of internal and external SHIC communication. Also, we'd look at consultation and participation as an effectiveness. Another management review input around operations would be an understanding of verification and validation activities and the number of non-conformities or the throughput um, performance. We'd have a look at product and process performance. What are the types of products or services that we're selling? What is our process throughput? We'd have a look at the control hierarchy effectiveness based on qualitative and quantitative indicators. We'd have a look at our Sheck performance indicators. We'd have a look at accident statistics and environmental statistics and resource utilization. All of this would be captured into our management review presentation. We'd have a look at audits, our internal audits, and our evaluation of compliance. We'd have a look at actions and the status of those particular actions. And if audit findings are raised, what has been done about them? Have they been closed down? Has the uh, effectiveness of the corrective action taken, has that been reviewed? We'd have a look at improvements. We'd have a look at accidents and incidents. We'd have a look at trends. We'd have a look at the actions taken against improvements and accidents. And we'd have a look at the status of those, all as management review indicators. So that might be part of the presentation that is given to top management, non-managerial uh, staff, and also possible worker representatives who are going to be sitting at the management review meeting. After the presentation is done, we'd obviously take minutes, and part of the management review is we'd want to have a look at what are some of the outputs from the management review. It might result in minutes, which is an action plan. So we'd, as part of the outputs, we'd have a, what are some of the improvement opportunities that we can make? What are some of the changes that we need to make to our Sheck management system? Are there additional resources? Are the resources that we've provided, are they adequate? Are they suitable? Is it effective? Do we need additional resources? 
resources? Do we need to contract resources based on the production or operational plan going forward? What actions are we going to take based on the statistical analysis, trend analysis of the performance indicators? How does all of these actions link to our strategic direction? And at the end of all of this, with the minutes or the action plan, that needs to be communicated into the organization and obviously needs to be retained as documented information. So that's an overview of management review where we have a look at the performance indicators through the various different clauses. Top management review it hopefully in consultation with non-managerial workers and worker representatives and they will then create an action plan to continually improve the Sheck management system. We trust that you enjoyed this video.